Mostly Joan did something smart, meaningful, to change, you know, change up lives. You stuck up bitch. It really had me thinking about all this, all the stuff going on in my body, all the signals, all the cells and neurons. Oh, you didn't was. Oh, your movie it was always simplify things. Me and uh, over five characters and many things that represent accuracy. I mean, the inaccuracy on the mind that would make me lose faith in David Hyde Pierce. Remember, Frazier. Niles? Of course not. That would be Lucy Ava and David Hyde Pierce. Contrary to what Nostalgia Critic said, uh, psychology is one of the movie's strongest points. You can see the look on his face and her facial expressions. He's thinking about more than what's just going on on the surface, but it's also thought. I mean, Drix may have already known he was more of a repairman, a cover up, rather than an actual officer. But all the, but all the hype he's got. And we gave him some false self-confidence. But the pet talk that to get him back, that I was short, he actually did have variation. He admitted it was something he made up for pet talk to make good pet talk. I too thought Bill Murray wasn't really that funny in this or many of his roles. But he does deliver on solo drama. You can see there's a lot going on in his head. Even that down into his head, how things affect him is mostly things we've seen in the movie. But I wish they would have done more. I think we get a glimpse of what Maggie was like. His wife, Shane's mom, not some hooker. All he did was compare it to how inside out self-conscious stuff. So, I'm more going on in the movie. a lot more going on than he gives the movie credit for. Even when he seems a-emotional, you see it's only like skin deep. What do you expect from a fat bastard? Remember a fat bastard? These are not his specialty. He missed his entire subplots, maybe deliberately. The chains only bother me when they're either pretending they're doing something new or I never liked it in the first place, like in The Incredibles. Family, movie cliches, superhero cliches. They try to stop some ginger fighters, which somehow ends up affecting Frank's play. You see, when something moves from one place to another, systematically, it's called transportation. Got the concept, dumbass. There is one sort of, some sort of detail he pays attention to. In act, in actors who played who, and just about anything you expect from someone who has no life. Especially with lack of emotion.